or you have a problems with your liver function tests, maybe you're seeing elevated levels of AST, ALT, or GGT. My name is Dr. Taranella. In this video, we're going to look at the foods that affect liver function tests. What has a bigger impact, carbohydrates, fats, or protein? What types of food should you be avoiding if you have elevated liver function tests? So if you like this kind of information on health, nutrition, just trying to get a deeper and better understanding of what's going on with your health, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information can Contained in this video is for informational purposes only. It is not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or a medical professional. It should be used as an educational guide to deepen your understanding of health and treatment success. If you need medical attention, don't delay in seeking that treatment. All right, let's look at the foods that affect liver function tests. Okay, so in this video, we wanna look at foods that affect liver function tests. Been getting a lot of questions on the impact of different foods and various things on liver function tests. So I wanna dive into it a little bit deeper and look at some of the foods and specifically macronutrients and maybe even some specific foods in general. So to do this, I found a study that looked at the influence of diet on liver function tests and serum lipids. And basically they were using this to, to kind of help differentiate in clinical trials when there's an impact from food versus the medication or drug that's being studied. So it's a small study and the diets that they looked at were a balanced normal di caloric diet and a high carbohydrate, high calorie diet and a high fat high calorie diet. Each diet was consumed in a randomized sequence for a total of eight days with a recovery period of 14 days in between each of the eight days. And then they collected the blood samples from all the patients to see what the impact of each of those diets was on the transaminases and other liver function tests and other tests. So let's look at the main summary or conclusion by the authors, and then we'll look at some a little bit more details on what they found. So what they found was there was rise in transaminases and triglycerides based on carbohydrate consumption rather than caloric consumption. And within this high carbohydrate, high calorie diet, it was the sucrose carbohydrates rather than other starches that seemed to have the biggest impact. So basically the long and short of it is carbohydrates and specifically sucrose seems to be a big driver for elevated liver enzymes. Now, if you want to know a little bit more details, you can find this study in the description, but I also wanted to point out a few interesting things that they found in this study. Okay, so this is the AST, or sorry, this is the ALT and the control diet, which is, you know, not high carb, not high calorie, is the upside down triangle. And this is the high fat diet, high fat, high calorie. And this is the high carbohydrate, high calorie diet. So you can see a clear indication there for what's going on. And the same kind of thing happens with the uh, other liver enzyme tests, which is uh, the AST or aspartate immunotransferase, not as large of an increase, it appears, but still quite high. And then they also measured uh, GGT, which is a less commonly known liver function test, but you also see the same thing, same kind of pattern there going on. They also measured creatinine kinase, which uh, is important for ruling out any impact of exercise. And I did read in the study too, that they did try and make sure there was no like uh, change in exercise routine for about two to, two, I think it was two days before going into any of the testing. Okay, so let's look at some of the conclusions here, you know, further uh, conclusions. So what they say here is there's a clear relationship between the marked rise in transaminases, which is the ASD and ALT, and the number of days on the high carb, high calorie diet. The same effect was not found on the high high calorie, high fat diet, but there was still a modest increase in that. And they proposed as a possibility is that the increase in transaminases from that is because the overall calories were high and therefore there were more carbohydrates in that diet as well. That's one hypothesis. Other studies have found that just overall calorie, higher calorie consumption can increase these same liver function tests, but clearly not as much as the carbohydrates and sucrose specifically. They also noted that a much higher proportion of the calories in the carbohydrate fraction of the high carb, high calorie diet was from sucrose than would typically see, be seen in other diets. So clearly the sucrose seemed to have propped up the numbers if you were just eating like potatoes or other starches without the uh, sugar. So I think the biggest takeaway is that carbohydrates can and do increase 
liver function test. And it plays a big role at how your liver is going to function because those carbohydrates, as they start to creep up, your body can't dispose of them enough. And so they need to get packaged into a triglyceride. All those excess triglycerides can then start to damage those liver cells and cause those cells to open up. And so sucrose in particular does this sucrose is fructose and glucose together. We also know that fructose itself is even more detrimental. There's lots of studies on this with high fructose corn syrup, but just plain fructose like fruit sugars can also do this. And it's the amplitude of rise in the sucrose and fructose getting into the liver that's going to cause this damage. So if you have small amounts over longer periods of time, it's not going to have the same impact as if you raise it up very rapidly. So we know that alcohol can definitely damage your liver, Tylenol, various things like that. But when it comes to food, it's going to be, you know, sugar, the things that have high amounts of sugar, typically you're going to want to eat more once you have that taste. And so that's going to cause your liver to have to work over time to package all that sugar up and turn it into a triglyceride if your body isn't needing more of it to burn right in that moment. So the long and short is if you have elevated liver function tests, carbohydrates, sucrose or sugar, and fructose are the big things that are going to have a large impact on your liver function test. Okay, hopefully that gives you a better understanding of the foods that affect liver function tests. If you do have other questions about the types of foods or other things related to liver function tests or any questions at all, drop it in the comment section. I may do a separate video on that topic. If not, I'll definitely try and answer your question. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.